Hey everybody, I wanted to just do a little informal video on kind of what is plasticity, who's it for? What I'm trying to do is take a technology that's traditionally used in manufacturing and focus on the needs of concept artists, hard surface artists who are working in the game and film industry. Plasticity uses NURBS, which are typically used in manufacturing because it allows you to work uh, with very precise mathematical surfaces. For the most part, artists aren't concerned with manufacturability. They are just interested in rendering cool looking assets. So what NURBS offer in this context are different aesthetic possibilities. Let's contrast this with like traditional polygonal box modeling where operations like inset, extrude, adding loop cuts, adding bevels, allow you to create kind of boxy shapes that can simulate curves, um, but it offers a lot of freedom uh, at the same time as very complicated topology. And by contrast, you can do subdivision surfaces where you use a polygonal control mesh to uh, control a limit surface, a subdivision surface. Using the same kinds of operations, you can get a much more organic kind of look than with traditional box modeling, but the topological constraints are quite difficult to work with. And, in, and finally, like again, in polygons, we can use sculpting, which allows us to create a different look, even more organic instead of shapes. So NURBS are quite different. What they're good at is Booleans, fillets, and working with curved surfaces. Here you can union uh, perfect spheres and create a very curved fillet between them. You can do very precise Booleans, even on curved surfaces without working, worrying about topological problems. So NURBS have their own sort of restrictions, but they open up certain creative possibilities that can be quite exciting. Here's a video game asset by the artist Alex Senatral. Um, what's interesting about this gun is it's very kind of graphic and energetic silhouette. You have very believable manufactured looking materials like this could have come from a factory. It's very plausible. And other than kind of lots of high frequency details, what's characteristic of this, uh, of this gun are interesting sort of plane changes as well as these kinds of uh, very luxurious uh, fillets. Here's some more work by the same artist. I mean, you can absolutely create these kinds of shapes with traditional polygonal modeling techniques, but there is something about NURBS that lends itself to creating these forms, this scale, this level of detail, these plane changes. Um, and really that's the goal of plasticity is to kind of make it easier to do these kinds of artworks. So I wanna emphasize that I'm not making a general purpose CAD program. I'm not trying to be a low cost alternative to Fusion 360 or Shaper or whatever. I don't wanna compete against those programs. I wanna create something new, something that by focusing on the needs of artists is gonna be a completely different experience. Ultimately, I want uh, plasticity to be a bit like ZBrush. By focusing on the needs of concept artists, it's, uh, it's gonna push the use of NURBS into completely new directions and a completely new workflow that uh, hasn't been done before. And so that's what I'm excited to do. Um, I know that there's a lot of new users and that's really exciting and a bit overwhelming. And so uh, I'm just one person and I'll try and respond to all the emails that I'm getting and stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully Plasticity is going to be ready by September, and I'm going to be charging kind of $25 for an indie version. Um, almost all the code, except for the core geometry algorithms, are going to be open source, and so that users can easily make their own modifications and make their own plugins. The license will be LGPL or something even more permissive, uh, so that you can link with closed source libraries. And yeah, I'm excited about what it's gonna be in six months. And for now, I'm still just kind of focusing on getting the basic functionality working. So thanks for your time.